No. The poor child has done nothing to me. I am the one who have gravely sinned against God and deserve nothing but death. Yes, it is better I punish myself here on earth than suffer internally in hellfire. I am sorry, my maker, but I can't live with this sin. It's best I kill myself than send that innocent child away. She deserves a home. I can't be around to have my daughter if I'm constantly reminding me of how I am going to hell for my actions. It is best I punish myself here on earth than getting punished in hellfire. Oh God, please accept my soul. And please take care of my daughters, especially Ujumwa, who has known nothing about parenthood. She deserves best in life. I really can't give her what she deserves if I'm dead. Why do I have to break her heart the more? By leaving her after she found me. Who is going to be there for her when I'm gone? No. I'm definitely not doing the right thing. When have I become so selfish not to care about how my actions will affect the people close to my heart? Allowed it for my getting into my head. No be by power, no be by mighty yo. Avige me anike is not by your good word. It's only by the mercy of God, self-righteousness will lead you nowhere. Ah, my sister, you're back. I am not your sister. Let me see my parents. They went out. Meaning, no one is at home. Yes, except me. So you mean my parents left a total stranger at home? But I am not a stranger. Will you shut up and mind your business? Do I know you? Have we met before? There's food in the cupboard if you are hungry. Sorry. Forgive me for all these squabbles. Forgive me for the way I spoke to you. I am sorry. Well, Onoche, if this is a means for me to give you the money, <laughs> I don't have it yet. No, no. I'm not asking for the money. In fact, I am glad you never gave me the money. What did you say? I am saying that I know the money is safe with you and I can have it whenever I want it. But for now, you can still keep it. Because I don't want to start a new business anymore. Oh. Well, you, you should have your wife thanked. Uh -huh. Because she was the one that convinced me not to give you the money. As huh? a means of protecting you. <laughs> oh, my lovely wife. Mm. I'm so grateful to her. <laughs> but then I am still thankful to you. Because you knew not giving me this money could severe our friendship. Yet, you held on to the money in a way of protecting me. I am so grateful. You're welcome. But uh, since you're not going into a new business anymore, are you going back to your butcher business? Uh -huh. I'm going back to the business. Okay. That's the only business I know how best to do. Beautiful. Beautiful. But <laughs> what changed? What, what happened? Eh? You don't want to go to heaven anymore. My brother. Just leave me alone. Leave me alone. Something happened that made me change my mind. It made me see the stupidity in what I was doing. 
and how wrong I was going about this Christianity thing. Wow. <laughs> Thank God I'm safe now. Man. Well, to God be the glory. Mm. Huh? Thank you so much. I'm grateful. <laughs> Informer, what is the problem? If you come, my daughter, what is the matter? Mama, I want to leave this house. Where? Anywhere, just outside this vicinity. Why? Mama, are you asking me why? Since you and Papa have decided to contaminate this house with the product of a sin, it's best I leave before I get contaminated too. The former stop being childish and silly. Mama, this has nothing to do with childishness. It has everything to do with it. That girl is a human being. What did the Bible say? Accept everyone as one. We are all created by God. Mama, the same Bible said, resist sin, resist unholiness. Otherwise, you will share in their iniquities and recompenses. My dear, that girl is innocent. I don't see what you have against her. Moreover, your father owns this house. He has accepted her as his child. Then Mama, if that's the case, then I must go. I can no longer stay here. Ifoma! Ifoma! What are you doing here? Nkechi. I've come to see you. I need your help. My help? Please, you have to start going now for my mom will soon return. She will not find it funny seeing you here. Please, you have to go. Go, go, go. This is between life and death. If you don't help me now, I will risk losing my soul to the devil. What do you want? Um... Can I stay with you and your mother for a few days? Just a few days. What? You know that's not possible. Because my mom will not agree to that. That's why I need you to convince her for me. Please, Nkechi. Please. And why do you want to leave home? My dear, my father brought home a sin. A sin that can lead us all to hell. What are you talking about? My husband, huh? where are you off to? To buy meat. I heard Fulani people lost some of their cows to sickness and they are ready to sell the remaining ones. Sickness? Uh -huh. What kind of sickness? You know, uh, uh, this hamatan came with loss of sickness. Animal fluid and other things. So I guess the animals contacted it and they are dying. And the heat too, the heat is killing them too. Yeah. Mm. But I thought you said you're done with meat selling business. Uh, 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 we'll talk about that one when I come back. Yeah. Huh? Uh, please be careful. Right, okay. uh, make sure you cut off the head so that the blood will flow out. Don't you. buy dead meat though. I hear you. Oh, okay. Your <laughs> <laughs> please take care. I will see you. <laughs> mm -hmm. 
So finally, my husband has come back to his senses. God, I thank you. Onyeka will be happy to hear this. Oh, Uju, you are back. Yes, Mama, I'm back. Did you see your sister at the stream? No. I didn't see her at the stream. Not even on my way. She left here for the stream. Or could she have branched the church or what? It seems she spent more time at the church. <laughs> Ujumwa, you don't know your sister. Don't worry, I will tell you more about her. Hmm? Just drop the bucket. Ah, you've tried. Drop the bucket. Let's go inside. Hmm? Drop it. You have tried. You're welcome. Would you like to eat a uh, chichede or? People must talk. I'm talking to you. Ifuma, if you stop, I'm talking to you. What is it? Now look, please, just leave me alone. I should have known not to come to you in the first place. It's obvious I've lost you as a friend. No, please, I... Wait, wait, wait. What am I even saying? It is you that has lost me as a friend. How can I come to you for help and you just turn me down like nobody? You should try and understand my pain with me. That girl you told me about is your blood. She's your father's child and has every right to stay in that house. You have no reason to be obsessed by her presence. Father, learn to accept her. I have told you this over and over, Nkechi. That girl is a product of sin, and I cannot stay under the same roof with her. You should keep that aside and accept her. You have no right to condemn people. Do such things to God and keep on doing what pleases you. But remember, no one is perfect. No one. Oh, Nkechi. You're lost. You're so lost. <laughs> Whatever happened to the Nkechi that I know? Very pious and dedicated towards attaining heaven. It's sad you have lost me, dear friend. Very sad. Goodbye. My sister, what are you doing here all alone? Is everything all right? You have been crying. Look, just leave me alone. I want to be left alone. Is it about me staying here? You have no reason to be here. I don't know what or who brought you here, but you're not welcomed here. This is my father's house. And my father, the owner of this house, welcomed me to stay. Oh, I see you've grown wings. Do you really want to talk? Do you honestly want to talk? I did not come here for troubles. I came here to make peace. Take that peace elsewhere. It's not needed here. I am my parents' only child and you can't come from God knows where to take that from me. You can't.
Believe me, I'm finding it very difficult connecting with my sister Ifoma. She just doesn't like me. I told you she needs some time. Ne, with the way she spoke to me this afternoon, I'm scared. What did she say to you? Ne, it seems to her that I'm here to steal the love and attention you and my father have for her. I really don't understand her point, but she spoke with much bitterness. Don't worry. Mm -hmm. I will talk to her. You know? You know? <sighs> Just give me some time. Let me talk to her. Okay? I am sorry for all the harsh words she must have said to you. Hmm? You will remain a member of this family and nothing will change it. Okay? It's all right. Just calm down, okay? Hmm? You mean that stupid girl had the ghost to step her foot into this compound in my absence? Mama, I was surprised to see her, but it's a good thing she came. How? But I warned you to avoid that, didn't I? Mama, at least I had the opportunity of preaching to her today and tried to make her see the errors of her overindulgence and method. And did she listen to you? Did she? Not quite, but she was moved a bit by what I said. She cannot be condemning people and preaching about love when she cannot let her self sister live in her father's house. Did I hear you say self sister? The former has a step sister. Hmm. Yeah, hey. Mama, a lot has happened these past few days, according to her, and I'm going to tell you. My husband, you mean you made all this money just from today's sales? This is just the profit. And some people are still with my money. They bought on credit. Meaning mm -hmm. that you made more than this? Yes, sir. Hey, God, I thank you. Mm -hmm. I pray that the next sales will be more than this. Amen. I thank God. And I also thank you, too. Um, I heard what happened. You told my friend not to give me that money. He told me everything. And I am glad because it takes only a brave and wise woman to do that. My husband, our protection is my top priority. Mm. Hmm? Mm. Ify, is anything the matter? Anything can be the matter now. Anything can be. Don't mind her. See, maybe she's here to cast aspersion at me. Or maybe remind me how a sinner I am. I no longer care. Mom, I no longer care. Onochie no longer cares. Look, I came to this life alone, and I will die alone. When I die, I will go back to my maker. Let the judgment be between me and my maker, not you. You know. Um, my sweetheart, what uh, this thing do you want? I, I need that man. The salad soup. Salad soup. I need it. How much will it? I said she wants to be friends with Ifoma and pleaded with me to take her to you. So that I can do what? You're Ifoma's sister, so you can help her plead with Ifoma. That's absurd. Why would you plead for friendship? No, that's wrong. That's very wrong. Please talk to her. My dear, you don't plead for friendship. When you have people who are willing to become your friends. But I want to make heaven. If Oma is not the one to lead you to heaven, just make Jesus your friend and pray to him all the time. He will surprise you. Also, become a good child to your parents and I'm sure you will make heaven. What are you doing in my slippers? Is it this one I'm wearing? How dare you! 
He said you don't have your own sleep patch. You now want mine. I'm sorry. I don't have a casual slippers. I didn't even know it was yours. Please, I'm sorry. Now you listen to me. Henceforth, let me not ever, and I mean ever see with anything that belongs to me in this house. Never you touch what is mine in this house. Never. Are you listening to me? Rubbish. Ujuma, you are still here. I feel more comfortable outside here. No, don't say that. How can you be more comfortable outside? This is your home. Hmm? So relax. You know? If you had told me you don't have a casual slippers, I would have gotten it for you before now. Oh yeah. Thank you, Ne. I'm sorry, Ne. I didn't want to disturb you since my sister has a casual slippers. Ujuma, if you need anything, tell me. You know? Okay, Ne, I've heard. But why would Ifoma treat me this way? I am sorry. It was wrong for her to force the slippers off your legs. I will talk to her when she returns home. That was heartless and unfair. Why would she do a thing like that? Because of ordinary slippers. It's alright. Hmm? Okay, mm -hmm. But you are going to do me a favor. What? Don't allow your father to hear about this. Hmm? I don't want him to get mad at my daughter. Ne. I wasn't going to tell Papa. Good. In as much as what she did was painful, she is my sister and I forgive her. Oh. Would you, Mom? You are my daughter. Ifoma, what is wrong with you? I've been keeping calm over the way you've been treating your stepsister ever since she arrived here. I don't like it. Mama, she has no right to touch my things. Shut up! Will you shut up, you fool? I don't care what has come over you. Let this be the last one I'm going to warn you about that girl. If your Bible teaches you to condemn strangers, mine teaches me to welcome them so that they will share in our peace. But mother, can't you see what she's up to? She wants to bring this unity into this once peaceful family. And you allow her. Then mind your business. If I'm a mind your business, if you cannot associate with her, eh? Don't give me reason to deal with you as my only child. Go and thank her. Thank her that she did not tell your father about this. If not, by now, your father would have thrown you out of this house. Be careful. What are you doing my clothes? The clothes were dirty, so I decided to wash them. It's not your business. You have started again in this house, so Ujunwa, avoid me in this house. Avoid me. Hmm. But sister, the clothes were dirty. Was it your business? See, I have warned you before and I'm warning you again. Stay away from my things in this house. Let me have them. But sister, I was only assisting. I didn't ask for your assistance. Just know that as long as you're in this house, I'm going to make your life a living hell.
Papa. I've been observing how you behave towards your sister. Papa, she's not my sister. I will slap you if you don't shut up your mouth. What's wrong with you? Huh? Listen, I will not tolerate you showing any sign of disrespect to your sister. She's your older sister for crying out loud. But Papa, all I asked of her was to stay away from me and my things. I don't see anything difficult in that. Why? Why is this so difficult for you to accept this girl into this house? Eh? What has she done to you? Papa, I'm disappointed that you've decided to embrace him. And, and what? You should be disappointed in yourself for being so bitter. Huh? You are just the opposite of what your Bible preach. Love. Love. Love me for my love. But Papa, she was brought here without my consent. And I'm being forced to accept her as a sister. Even when I'm not ready to have anyone as a sibling. Papa. As far as I'm concerned, she's not my sister. You must be mad for speaking to me in that manner. You must be mad. Come on, leave this place. Leave this place. But, but Papa, you've never raised your hand on me before. Oh, this is the first. If you don't change, I'll keep doing it. Where do I really go from here? Should I go to the church? Hmm. I don't think Father Richard or even the seminarian will let me stay. They would want to know why I left the house and then try returning me home. But I don't want to go back to that house since it's obvious my father has no love for me anymore. I wish I can just leave and never come back. Where do I go to now? My daughter. Good afternoon, ma. Good afternoon. How are you? Fine, ma. What about my friend Ifoma? Oh. You still call Ifoma my daughter your friend? Mama, she has never stopped being my friend, no matter what happened. <sighs> well, she's there creating enmity between her stepsister and herself. She told me about it. She even came to our house seeking to stay there for a while, that she wants to be away from me. You see? I don't know what has come over Ifoma. She's been avoiding everybody, especially her stepsister. I don't know why she finds it so difficult to accept that innocent girl. Mama, I tried advising her, but she got angry and left. My daughter, please, keep advising her. I don't know what Ifoma is turning into. I am even planning to stop her from going to that church. Yes! Since that church is doing more harm to her than good. No, Mama. You don't have to stop her. Let her continue with church. Only what she needs right now is constant advice on how to live her life. And reminding her of love, which was what Christ preached about in the Bible. It's all right, please. Keep talking to her. Biko, oh, thank you so much. Mm. Uh, take care, eh? Oh. Greet your mother for me, you know? Oh, bye-bye. Oh. I got this for you from the market. Wow! This is nice! Thank you so much! 
the colorful design is what attracted me to it. It's beautiful. You like it? Yes. Okay, you know what you're going to do now? Go inside. Put it on. Let me see how it looks like on you. Okay, I'm going. Carry the bag. Carry the bag. Put it inside. Nay. What of my sister's clothes? Don't worry. I got this just for you. Hmm? Your sister has a lot of clothes. How can I wear a new dress when my sister is not doing the same? <laughs> oh, you are. Mama, maybe you should give her this one I'm holding. Then buy for me later. It seems you like this your sister so much. Hmm? But it's sad she's not doing the same. But don't worry. I know she will change. Oh? Go and put it on. Tomorrow I will buy one for her. You know? Yeah? Go and wear it. <laughs> Go and wear it. Let me see how it looks like now. <laughs> hey. Welcome back, sister. Well, you know you shouldn't be the one to be leaving. I'm supposed to leave. Then leave! Leave us alone, you product of sin! Leave! My life was better here. And I was at peace with my God before you came. What do you want, Nkechi? I'm here to see you. I'm busy. You can go and come back anytime you like. Ify, I want us to go speak with the seminarian. I believe Brother Israel is in the best position to advise you about this. Brother Israel knows the Bible more than we do as a clergy. So you will just end up disgracing yourself taking this matter to him. Because he will remind you how terribly you've lost touch with your Bible. Ifoma. I'm not saying my advice to you is right, but let's hear from the seminarian. Look, don't ever think I'm against you for once. You're still my friend, whether you believe it or not. So, I care. I really do. Nkechi, there can never be peace within my soul. As long as I continue associating myself with sinners like my parents and their stepdaughter. That's why I wanted to leave. Because I never imagined before now that anything would ever come in between my quest for heaven. So just leave. I don't want to see any seminarian. Mama, you called. Your sister said you refused to eat. That's because I'm not hungry, Mama. You are not hungry? You have not eaten since last night? Or are you fasting? No, Mama. Ifoma, I am surprised and disappointed the way you behave. So if I send your sister out of this house, you will be happy. Then you will make heaven, isn't it? I am asking you. Mama, I don't know what to say, because I sincerely don't know what you want me to say. I am surprised and disappointed the way you behave. If Christianity is all about this, eh? I'll better be a pagan. Now get out of my sight. 
Get out from here. Get out. Keep punishing yourself for nothing. Nonsense. Honestly, I am enjoying it. I know you will like it. Mm. You are indeed a good cook. I wish I could take the credit, but I'm not the one that prepared it. Huh? I have never had it this fantastic. Tell me you are joking. I wish I am, but I am not joking. It's your daughter that prepared it. Who? Ujumwa. Ujumwa? Yes, Papa. You prepared this meal? Yes, Papa. <laughs> I never knew you were this fantastic. Oh, I now have a daughter who is excellent. Fantastic. Darling Nemo. Thank you, Papa. Well done. You see what I was telling you? Eh? Teach this girl how to cook. If you had done that by now, she would have perfected it. But each time I said, do this, you kept saying she is still too young. Look at it. Is this not her mate? I know. Don't worry, I will start teaching her. I know she will learn soon. Mm -hmm. Better. Tabo. Tabo. Mm -hmm. Teach her. Look at how delicious. Hey! What am I doing? Oh no, this is not me. This is not right. No, I'm sorry. <laughs> Thank, Thank you. you so much. Thank you so much. Yeah, so Onochi. Hmm? Hmm? Do you know everybody is speaking well about your daughter? Oh, um, you mean Ujumwa? Who else? You think I'm referring to your daughter Angwa Jesus? Hey, yeah. <laughs> Don't <laughs> insult my daughter for me. But sincerely, everybody said her character is very, very annoying. Let me tell you, if I didn't know you better, I would say she's not from your lines. She is just an opposite of Ujumwa. Honestly, honestly, I don't know what is wrong with her. I am only believing God for a change. Unlike Ujumwa. Ujumwa came with joy, happiness to my wife and I. She's full of cheerfulness and she's hard working. She doesn't have problem with anybody except her sister Ifoma, who I don't know what is wrong with. Hi. Do you know what? Please encourage Ujumwa to keep it up. It's very rare to see a girl the whole village likes this much. Simply means she's behaving well. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Do you know what you will do? Mm -hmm. I think you should start buying Ujumwa gifts. Eh? Maybe that will make it for her to change. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. Yes, Thank you. But that's not why we're here. So this gifts. Oh, 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 o
Yes. And more will still come if you keep being yourself. Just keep being the good guy you are. Thank you so much, Papa. You're welcome, my daughter. Papa, I will never disappoint you. Never. It's okay. I have confidence in you. I am so, so proud of you and I'm sure you'll make me proud. Sister, see what Papa bought for us. Where is she? It seems she's not around. But this is unlike her because she's always around and has no friend to visit. Well, when you see her, just tell her that I want to see her. It's very urgent. Okay? I will, sir. Alright. Thank you so much for accompanying me to see her. Alright, let's go. Tell her parents. They'll be so disappointed in me. Please, I beg of you. I don't know what came over me. Unity between you and your parents. I can't stay here while you leave me perpetual bitterness. 
But if you are, don't worry. We are not from the same mother. I just only understand why you don't want me to stay here. But please, tell Papa when he returns. And please, tell him I'm sorry. But you don't know your way back and... Don't worry. The village is not far from here at all. It's not far. Please, just tell Papa I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I've not been friendly and accepting to you ever since you arrived at my father's house. But that's not enough reason for you to leave. If mama, you tried committing suicide. I need not to say you had to tell me it's in connection with my presence in your father's house. But Uju, that's your father's house too. And you're welcome to stay there for as long as you want. Ify, you deserve your parents' love and attention more than I do. It hurts me to believe I'm the one standing in your way to a peaceful and a happy upbringing. I just have to go. Would you please? I beg of you. Don't go. Papa will be so devastated. He'll discover that you're gone. And he'll blame me for it. I don't want him to be sad. He's my father. I still care about his feelings. Would you? I'm sorry if I've made your stay horrible. But I'm willing to change. Just please, don't go. Please. If Mama, you try to kill your life. I know. That was foolish and selfish of me. But please, would you return home? My dear sister, please. <laughs> We've all been in situations when we have done wrong and desire forgiveness, either from a spouse, a friend, or even a family member. Sometimes, the person we need forgiveness from is ourselves. And there are times when someone is asking for forgiveness and we have to look deeply into ourselves to offer it with no strings attached. I know this is hard, but this is what the Bible teaches. Ephesians chapter 4 verse 32 says, Be kind and compassionate to one another. Forgive each other just as Christ forgave you. Matthew chapter 6 verse 14 says, For if you forgive people when they sin against you, our Heavenly Father will also forgive you. God says in Colossians chapter 3 verse 13, that we should bear with each other, forgive one another. If any of us has grievance against someone, forgive as the Lord forgave you. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying thank you, Jesus. Thank you, my Lord. We are saying. Did you tell me you were this good with the Bible? I mean, I was surprised hearing you preach to our parents today. Oh, well, I attended the Bible class and I came out best in my set. Really? That's interesting. Aren't you full of surprises? Do you know, I've never really preached to my parents the way you just did. Well, you should be doing that from time to time. You're right. I guess I occupied my mind with a lot of things. Forgetting that my parents also need the message of salvation. So you said you came out best in your Bible class set? Yes. 
<sighs> well, I doubt that. Let's see how well you know the Bible. Romans 3.23 For all have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God. Jeremiah 29.11 For I know the plans I have for you, the declares the Lord. Plans to prosper you and not to harm you. Plans to give you hope and a future. Wow. Okay. Philippians 4 verse 13. I can do all things through him who gives me strength. Romans 8 verse 28 And we know that in all things God works for the good of the people who loves him who have been called according to his purpose My sister, I know you're hungry, but the food will soon be done. Not really. I was actually thinking of joining you in the kitchen. Joining me? I mean, for you to teach me how to cook. I really don't know anything when it comes to cooking. Why? I'm always busy studying the Bible. Whenever my mother calls upon me to assist her in the kitchen, I spend most of my time away from house chores. Well, I think it's never too late for someone to learn how to cook. You really think I can be a good cook like you? You have me, sis. I would do the magic for you at no cost. All you need to do is to watch me carefully while I prepare this meal. Thank you so much, Uju. I wonder what I was thinking, chasing you away all this while. You are indeed a blessing, and the very person I need in my life right now. I'm so happy you finally accept me. Thank you so much. Do you know how I've been dying looking for someone I can genuinely call my sister? Thank you. Take this into the backyard, eh? Hmm? Arrange it very well. Remove all these leaves. Hmm? Oh, yeah. If you like, finish it.
Mama, Papa. I want to apologize for my misdoings and misgivings in this house. Especially since Uju came. I have been stupid and unreasonable. I was so engulfed with keeping commandments and other instructions in the Bible that I didn't know when I started pushing away people from my life. I started condemning and seeing myself as the holiest in this village. My friends left me because of that. And I thought I was the only righteous person around. But I realized I was wrong. And recently humbled by someone I never expected. Please forgive me, for I have not been a good child. I am very surprised that this is coming from you. If I hadn't known you, I wouldn't believe this is my daughter. Mom, do you know I almost committed suicide? Just because of the way you were condemning all my actions, you made me believe I was the worst sinner on it. I am sorry about all that, Papa. I was so selfish. I tried committing suicide as well. But I was stopped by my sister here. And right there, it dawned on me how stupid and selfish I have become. I wanted to kill myself, to avoid associating myself with people I saw as sinners. Forgetting that suicide is a mortal sin. That was stupid. And by being selfish, I didn't care how my death would affect the people close to me. I'm sorry. Hey! You mean all this happened in this house without my knowledge? I am happy you have realized your mistakes. And today is not late for you to make a meet. May I ask you, who is the person responsible for this sudden and tremendous change? She is none other than the one person God sent to remind me how I failed him and to change my ways. She is indeed a child of God with greater knowledge of the scripture yet so humble. My beloved sister Uju
several times for you at your house, but you weren't there. I even spoke to the seminarian on your behalf, and you followed me to your house, but you weren't around. Um, I actually saw you coming with him, and I hid. I thought I was doing the right thing by avoiding everyone, but I've realized my mistakes now. So I'm here with my stepsister to apologize to you. Is she your stepsister? Yes. God changed me through her and gave me another chance to reconcile with people and amend my ways. I'm sorry for all I said to you, Nkeshi, and how I misbehaved. Ifi, I'm happy to hear this. You're back. My friend is back. But I can't believe I almost ruined our friendship by calling you a sinner. Nne. Hmm. She condemns people and treats everybody as sinners. Even me, oh. Well, you wouldn't blame her. She actually forgot that most of the saints we're looking up to were worst of sinners in their lifetimes. Let's talk about Apostle Paul, who was once a sadist and a murderer soul. King David, too. Moses, Simon Peter, Tama, Jonah, and so many. Wow, you speak like a Bible class student. Eh? Nkechi, this my sister right here is a Bible encyclopedia on her own. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, you need to get to know her. Oh, you're cracking from Canel. It has been long I touched one of these. Can I join? Oh, feel free, let me get you a seat. Okay. <sighs> You can go and join me. Please. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for ever snobbing you girls. I didn't know what I was doing. I'm sorry. I'm willing to become your friend if you can forgive me. I'm serious. She's right. She's a changed person now. Please, give her a chance. Please. It's okay. Thank you. I'm so happy. So, where were you guys going? To our house. Okay, let's go. Are you saying you prepared this meal? No, 
I know your style of cooking. It's good though, but not like that of Ujumu. Look at this man. Oh. Are you saying I don't know how to cook or what? No, say that. You're a very good cook. But, <laughs> you see that Ujumu's own? So delicious. Okay. It's not Ujumu that prepared the food. How do you mean? This food you are enjoying was specially prepared by Ifoma, and she did that alone. It's a lie. That's not possible. How can I lie with such a thing? She prepared this. Ujuma taught her, and she's a fast learner. Believe me, she prepared it. You mean Ifoma, my daughter, prepared this food? She did. Hey! God, I thank you for blessing me two wonderful daughters. Two daughters I can be proud of. It's okay. My husband is all right. I thank you. It's just to tell you that nothing is impossible for God. Anything he cannot do does not exist. You are lucky to have them in your life. Even me, your beloved wife, who would give all the love in the whole world to you. It's all right. <laughs> it's only by the mercy of God, self righteousness will lead you nowhere. No, be by power, no, be by mighty. Not by your hard work It's only by the mercy of God Self-righteousness will lead you No! 